be there. You don't work. It's all mine. This and that. Nah, 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 nah. Shut that shit down real quick. Don't let anybody motherfucking manipulate you girls. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I just woke up and whatnot. How was y'all's New Year's? I didn't vlog for New Year's because it was super boring and cold and I wasn't gonna be vlogging with the camera in the freezing cold. My husband's side of the family didn't really do anything and neither did mine, so we just hung out with some friends, waited till New Year's and then went home, basically. I wanna go ahead and talk about this topic that I saw on another woman's channel her channel is called Feminine in Flats and her channel is all about being like a stay-at-home mom, being a good wife and things of that nature. And she brought up some things that I kind of disagree with and I kind of don't. So I wanted to go ahead and talk about all that with you guys. She was saying how if you want to please your man, you as a woman have to be submissive to the man and you as a woman should let him take the lead role in the household. How do y'all women think about that? What do y'all think? You think she's right on this one or are we boss ass bitches and we ain't gonna let anybody tell us what to fucking do? I am kind of stuck in between the two. And here's why, I'll tell you why. Because every man is different, okay? Every man is different. Some men like independent women. Some men like for the women to do everything on her own, you know? But then there's some other men, like mine, for example, who he wants to do like all the work around, like he, how do you say it? It's like an old school marriage, like old traditional, I guess you want to say, you know, he brings home the bacon, I cook it, shit like that, you know, he wants to be the, the head of the household and all that. So yeah, I, it just depends on who you're married to, I guess, right? Uh, and she, I'm going to bring up this point here, should stay at home moms work? Here's the thing. Here's the thing guys, I am a stay at home mom. I have not worked for about five years now. And my kids, both of them are in school, so I'm here at the house literally with no kids, so I guess you could say I'm a stay at home wife, right? Now here's the thing, I understand if you are a mother with newborn children who, or, or chill toddlers, you know, who are not in school yet. I understand that. I would stay at home, for sure. Um, but here's the thing. W women like me who already have um, their kids in school. Uh, not now, because I know we have all this pandemic going on and most of the children are doing online in the home. So that brings up a whole different scenario. I'm talking about when life gets back to normal and everybody is normal again, okay? So, should we work? And I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna share a little piece of my opinion here because I'm a stay-at-home mom and I'm telling y'all from experience, five years experience, okay? I regret not working. If my husband dies, like what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? He's the only one bringing home the bacon um, get yourself some life insurance. Don't, don't, you never know. You never know when life is gonna be taken from you. So get yourself some life insurance. That way you have some wiggle room, pay off all your shit, you know what I'm saying? And then um, get yourself a little job. That way you're at least able to maintain, you know, the little payments that you're gonna have in your house or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But yes, or maybe your husband, doesn't have to necessarily like pass on. What if the nigga just decides to fucking cheat on you or, or, or you know, has a an affair and he's living a double life and he's out with the other chick, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if that happens to you? Cause it can happen. Don't ever think you're safe. You can be so in love and have the most awesome sex and, and, and 
next thing you know, the nigga be cheating, the nigga be motherfucking out there and about with his 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 other families and the, the chick's pregnant. Next thing you fucking know. Now it's up to you if you want to tolerate with that bullshit, but what if he doesn't even want you? What if he's like, you know, I have another family, bye, I'm out. You know what I mean? That can happen, it can. And you haven't worked all your life, and so you're kind of just there like, well, what am I gonna do? When you don't work, and you're just at home in your safe, perfect little bubble, you forget how it is in the real world. You know what I mean? Like you're basically crippling yourself. At least this is how I feel. It could be different for other people. You know, we all have opinions. Calm down haters, okay? Uh, but yeah, this is how I feel. Um, you get crippled. I am so scared to get a job. So scared, like I, you know, you forget how to communicate with people. You forget how to, you know, have the basic communication skills that you need to, to work, you know what I mean? Like, And then also, people treat you shitty when you get a job, you know what I mean? You, you, you're not used to people telling you what to do, you're not used to getting lashed out for doing something wrong, you know, all that stuff. All that stuff is, is pretty intimidating when you haven't worked and you've just been home um, in your safe zone, right? So that is why I would personally suggest if you're a stay-at-home mom and you don't have, like your children are in school and you're basically free, free already like me, I would like volunteer at least somewhere or get a little part-time job somewhere just so you can be a part of the world and not scared, uh, not scared to join the world when you're ready. You know what I mean? So that's my opinion on should women work or not. Now all you boss ass bitches out there, where you at? Where you at girl? I see you. You gonna buy me a cup of coffee or what? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Mm. Here's the thing though. There are different types of men out there. My husband doesn't want me to work. He wants me to be a stay at home wife. He doesn't want me to suffer out there in the crazy ass world with crazy ass people. Some husbands are like that. But I've also met husbands who want their women to be independent, who want them to work, who want them to make their own money and who want, you know, their own damn bank accounts. And, and it just goes back to the same thing. It just really depends on who you're married to. So that's that. But now, should we be submissive to our husbands? Hmm. Should we let our husbands take the lead role in the household? Should we let the husband wear the pants? What do y'all think about this? This is an interesting topic and I can go all day talking about it. So here's the thing. I agree with this one a tad bit, in my case. Because like I said, every, every man is different. But my man, personally, I know he wants to feel important. He wants to feel like he's a man of the household. He wants to feel like he is appreciated and um, not necessarily in charge. She brought this lady who brought up these topics, she brought up a good point. She said, because we're not really giving them power, I guess you could say, because in a marriage, it's 50-50. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're united and the ultimate big decisions or even little decisions, like, you're gonna agree together. If my husband needs a new tire for his Harley, he's gonna come tell me, babe, I need a new tire for my Harley. You know what I'm saying? If I wanna go buy myself a damn pair of shoes, I'm gonna be like, hey babe, I'm gonna go buy me some damn pair of shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's, the communication is always there. So I don't necessarily think we're giving them a higher, a higher hand, you know what I'm saying? But in, I, I wanna say we kind of make it feel that way so they can be, you know, happy. You know what I'm saying? He might wear the pants. 
but I'm a pick em. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mmm. Yeah. But here's the thing though. Okay. There's some very, very, very independent women out there. Very independent. They've um, worked all their lives. They make their own goddamn money. They ain't gonna let anybody motherfucker tell them what to do. You know what I'm saying? And this is where it gets a little bit <laughs> because um, well, it, it's like I'm, I'm saying, if you're married, I feel like everything should be discussed. And it just really depends on the type of man you're married to. Because for example, my man is a hardworking man. He's out there working like his ass off every fucking day or whatever and but that that's my style of of men right but there's other type of men for example i don't know what these type of men are called i think it's metrosexual i'm not sure but there's there, there's a type who want to be stay-at-home dads and, and or take care of the kids you know they want to take care of the kids and they they like that type of of and some women are into that, you know what I'm saying? So if that's your type of man, you know, then your everything changes, everything changes. Some men are more emotional than other men. You know, some men don't wanna show any motherfucking emotion and others do, you know, others aren't afraid to cry. And so I, it, yeah, it, I'm gonna keep repeating this. It just comes down to who you're married to. It really does. I know my man likes to be appreciated he he wants me to see how hard he's working he doesn't want me to work like that's just the type of man i'm married to you know what i mean and that's that now this lady brought up a very interesting suggestion divorce rates are very very high nowadays and she was saying this is probably why she was saying because men want to feel like they're the leader of the household and us women nowadays since we're boss ass bitches most of us we don't give them that that type of um you know we, we don't give them that because we ain't gonna let nobody tell us what to fucking do you know what i'm saying um and she's saying and that's probably why divorce rates are so high huh interesting bunch of bull bunch of bull let me just motherfucking tell you okay i disagree with that one okay there is a lot of reasons why the divorce rates are so high nowadays and i don't think it's because women are independent and women aren't gonna fucking tolerate men telling us what to fucking do girl you go get your money you go get your motherfucking paycheck and you pay for motherfucking dinner if you know what i'm motherfucking saying okay mm. Now, if you're a stay-at-home mom and you want your man to bring home the bacon and you want to cook it and all that bullshit, you go, girl. I'm here. I'm here with you. Okay, so, and, and like I said, it all goes down to equality and um, un, un, union, united, okay? Because let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. Don't get it twisted, okay? I am a stay-at-home wife. I cook, I clean, and I do everything that a woman should in the household. Here's the thing though, my husband's working. You have to keep it equal. Now, if the roles were reversed and I was working and my husband was home, you best believe that he better motherfucking be mopping, brooming, and cooking up in this bitch, okay? Just saying. Now, if I work and he works, like I said, it's just about the, the, the equal. He, he needs to help around here too, you know? Hey, pick up your motherfucking shoes. Pick up the damn clothes. That ain't the hamper. Go throw it in the hamper. You know what I mean? Like a little help goes a long way. Now, if I have just a little part-time job and he works freaking 16 hour shifts, I mean, I'm also gonna take a little bit more of the house load or whatever so like i said it's all about knowing you know you, you gotta keep it um fair you gotta keep it fair that's all i'm saying but now so 
there's a bunch of reasons why people get divorced and you can go ahead and blame it on the woman because we want to be fucking boss ass bitches and sorry guys i had to change out my battery but here's the thing guys okay here's the thing divorce rates happen and they're up at the all-time highest because nowadays people don't want to put up with anybody's shit that's that's what it is it's not the woman's fault and it's not the men's fault i mean you can go ahead and say a woman doesn't uh like like is not up all in the up up the man's ass you know waving on him hand and foot making him the king you know what i'm saying cooking breakfast and all that you can go ahead and say all that bullshit but here's the thing a man can very easily just go out and cheat abusive maybe he's abusive uh controlling jealousy issues you name it and you have those women too you have those women who are you know like um shoving the husbands just because they think you know a man can't touch a woman and throwing shit at their husbands to me that is not cool um I personally don't uh, don't throw or shove my husband or anything of that nature. Here's the thing, I know I'm gonna fucking lose that battle. But here's also the thing, I don't want it done to me, you know? I don't want it done to me and I don't want a toxic ass relationship. That's why I don't do that. When I argue, this is what I do and it's wrong, <laughs> but this is how I, no one's perfect, okay girls? I talk a lot of shit when I argue. I get drunk and I'm just fucking running my motherfucking mouth. And everything that comes out of my mouth is 100% bullshit, but it comes out. You know what I'm saying? It comes out and that's how I cope with my anger. And I know, girl, I know it's wrong, you know, but whatever, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm. But it is definite, if you don't want your man to put his hands on you, you don't put your hands on a man. Respect each other. It goes a long way. It goes a long way. There is men like that out there who fucking put their hands on you just for the thrill of it. And that shit is not cool, boo-boo. It ain't cool. Get out of your that toxic relationship, girl. Get out of it. You can do it. You can. Don't be scared. But yes, girls, yes. So definitely divorce rates is not our fault. It's not because we're not submissive. Sometimes men don't want us to be submissive. Some men want us to take the, you know, the reins in the bedroom and whatnot. I know, I, I ain't gonna get involved with all that. Child support. This is what I think on that. I think, <sighs> And I hate to say this because us women really do need the help. We really do. But um, they kind of screw the man over and I'm not even gonna lie. Like, okay, I will try my hardest if we ever have a, a, a divorce. I will try my hardest not to put my husband on child support just because I know they screw their asses over and their life is basically over if you think about it. If they, for example, life happens and if they get fired or this and that, they still have to pay. And if they don't pay, they get back pay. And then you just end up paying shit ton. And they're, they're trapped. You know what I mean? They're trapped. And then they lose their license if they don't pay their passports and all that crap. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying men should not pay child support because they should, but I just wouldn't go through the government side of child support, if you get what I'm saying. Like, I would do it on the side. Like, okay, you need to pay me $1,000 a month, and that's that. We can do it on the side. Now, if the nigga decides not to motherfucking give you money or anything of that nature, okay. You need you you actually need the government now, so go. Go, go. You know what I'm saying? But if you have, a, you know, a man who who is willing to be like, okay, I'm gonna give you this money, and he actually does, and he doesn't fail you, you know, he's a good father, he wants to contribute. Okay, well don't try and screw him over, girl. You know what I'm saying? They gotta live their life too. Us women, 
have to worry about our kids. You know, when we get divorced, our kids are with us. We have to take them to school. We have to feed them. We have to do all this and that. And the guys just get it like once a week. You know what I mean? Like our our life is still taken away from us because of, the, of those kids. You know what I mean? Like we have to find babysitters and all that crap and whatnot. Um, if your kids are, are young enough and, and all that. Uh, and men, um, they need a help. Hey, it takes two to tango. It's a family. And if you wanted to break that family, well, hey, be prepared to pay. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it goes the same way for the dads who are stay at home dads and their mom works. You know what I mean? Like it goes the same way for them. I feel the exact same way. That man needs to get his motherfucking child support too. You know what I mean? Like I said, it, it, it has to be fair. It has to. Um, some men just automatically hate women just because women screw them over with um, getting 50% of everything that they've had, you know, and child support and this and that. Let me tell you something, okay? Everything that was built in your marriage was built together. And this is why I agree it's 50-50. For example, this house is paid off and it is paid for and it is under both our names. And you best believe that if we get divorced, whoever decides to keep this house or if we decide to sell it is gonna be 50-50, for sure. For sure. You know why? He didn't he didn't he didn't do all this by himself. Yeah, he's the one working, he's the one making all the money in my situation. But you know what, girls? I helped him. Who washed his motherfucking pants? Who cooks for this guy? Who stayed with the children and sacrificed their freedom? Me. You know, I mean, men don't see this because they're so clouded and with hatred because they're basically taking away all the, all the hard-earned money that they worked for. Hey, but we deserve it, okay? We motherfucking deserve it, okay, girls? For example, like, we were about 18 when we, or 19 when we bought our very first home in Corpus Christi. My husband didn't want to buy that house. He was scared. It was our very first house, so it was our very first mortgage, and he was scared. And I saw the house, I picked it out, I told him we should go for it. His dad also gave him advice, like, go ahead, buy it, yes, yes, yes. He, he was kind of scared to do it. You see, if I would have been on his side and said, no, don't do it, he wouldn't have done it. But the thing is, I was, I was cheering it on. I was like, let's buy the house, let's buy the house, let's buy the house. And so he did. And that's why I'm saying it's 50-50, guys, because believe it or not, even though if you don't work, there's so much influence that you have on your husband that he actually pays attention to. And you, you, you deserve 50% of that. And, and it, even though, because sometimes divorces can get ugly and if you don't work, they might be there. You don't work. It's all mine, this and that. Nah, 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 nah. Shut that shit down real quick. Don't let anybody motherfucking manipulate you girls. Cause that's the first thing that happens when you all start fighting and divorces and this and that. Well, it's my money, this, 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 this and that. No, 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 no. Querías familia, pendejo, aquí estoy. You know what I'm saying? Like you wanted a family? You got it. You want to go ahead and get rid of that family? Okay, it's going to cost you. It's going to motherfucking cost you, nigga, okay? Um, don't let it. Don't let it happen, ladies. I know how it feels sometimes. Like, I know how it feels to not work and to feel very insecure about it because I do. I really, really do. Um, and there's some men out there who, who are just assholes and, well, everything is mine, you know? Nah, no, no. Don't even think that for a second, girl. Don't even. Everything that he has, you played a part in it. And you deserve half of that shit if you're gonna go through a divorce. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying screw the guy over, because if he's a good guy, you shouldn't. You know what I mean? Like I said, it has to be fair. It has to. But if he's a motherfucking asshole, girl, 
Mm, take him for all he's got, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, guys, it was just a little something, something that I wanted to throw out in my vlogs because, hey, I'm a stay-at-home mom, a stay-at-home wife, and I know there's a lot of stay-at-home wives out there, and I know there's a lot of boss-ass bitches over here, and so I just wanted to just, you know, talk and discuss this whole topic about men and femininity femininity I guess you could say and should they wear the pants in the relationship and all that bullshit and to be honest in my opinion it all comes down to it's gotta be fair and you just gotta please what your man wants okay that's that all comes down to it that's what it is example me my husband pleases me just as much as I please him done you know what i'm saying my husband wants his plate served hey he's a hard working man he motherfucking deserves it you best believe i'm gonna go motherfucking make him some enchiladas and put it right there for him you best believe but he treats me good too ladies if i want to go to a steakhouse he's gonna motherfucking take me to a steakhouse you know what i mean it has to be fair it has to it has to and ladies please please stay out of toxic relationships don't be throwing shit at each other and hitting each other and all that bullshit when shit gets heated. I know, girl, I know, sometimes you want to and, and <laughs> trying to knock some sense into the nigga, but you know what, girls? It's not worth it. Respect each other, love each other, and pray to God that we stay married for the kids, you know? You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, unless the guy, you know, is abusive and all that bullshit. Well, then that's a whole different story. But if you have a good marriage, like if it's built on good foundation, ladies, make it work. Cause it, it, the girl made a good point. There's a lot of divorce rates out there. A lot, people just give up so fast. Here's the point. Marriage is not easy, girls and men. Marriage is not easy. It's the hardest thing. You know why? Because you're two different types of people with two different types of brains. And you have to communicate and understand each other. And sometimes we don't even do it in my marriage, you know? And I'm not saying it's easy, girls. It's not. Trust me, even me. Like I said, I have my flaws. I like to talk massive shit when I'm mad and I need to stop that immediately. Um, we're human. We all have flaws, right? But the, the whole point, you know, is to just try and have a healthy marriage for the kids. I was raised without a dad and I never saw my mom because she was always working and it does affect you. It still affects me and I'm 30 years old, guys. I'm 30 years old and I'm affected by it still. And so let's just try and keep our shit together. You know what I mean? If there's love there, Make it work, make it work. It's hard, it's definitely, definitely hard and your man will fuck up and you will fuck up and you just gotta uh, question yourself. Is it worth it? What do you think? Is this man worth it, worth fighting for? You know, that's up to you. I can't answer your questions. All I can do is tell you about my shit, my life and my opinions. You know what I'm saying? We all got different opinions. And I would love to hear them. Ah. Um, but anyways, so yes, guys, that was it. I got to go work out now, you know what I'm saying? Trying to lose some pounds. And so we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, girls. I hope you all enjoyed this video. So yeah, we'll see you all in the next one.